everyone. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me for another episode. Before I begin today, I just wanted to let you know that I am truly sorry for my lack of videos. This video is basically going to explain what's been going on and why I haven't been making videos. So as you guys know, um, I told you about three weeks ago, Mercury was going into retrograde, which means communication um, issues start to come up um, as well as a number of other things. So I wanted to talk to you today about my experiences and what's been going on because it it hasn't been pretty. This would probably be the most intense intense retrograde for myself that I have ever experienced in my life. So one of the biggest things that I wanted to talk to you about is that I have actually um, been suffering from depression. I have never felt depressed in my whole life. I've had breakups before and I felt really sad. But this is the first time I've ever felt depressed. I hate using that word. But basically, I don't know if you guys have been going through that or if it's something that you know of someone that's been through it. But I felt probably towards the last week of the retrograde that I I couldn't function. I couldn't do anything. I would cry for no reason and everything would make me upset. And it was like everything was a constant, constant mirror around me reflecting what needs to change. And that was alarming for me because I've never felt this way. And I like kind of reached out to a couple of my friends and family and I was like, this is how I'm feeling. Like I, I know that those people who I've spoken to have been through depression before. So it was kind of like, it was awful. Anyway, throughout the Mercury retrograde, I've learned that there are a number of things <laughs> that I need to change. And it was very confronting for me. When I was feeling depressed or I don't know, I think I'm going to call it depressed today. I don't know what else to call it. I didn't feel like even having a shower. Um, everything that I would eat would make me feel nauseous after. My belly would just blow up, um, which I am learning is probably due to stress. Um, I just didn't feel good at all. And I basically um, went away on the weekend, stayed in a tree house, submerged in mother nature with a beautiful pool. And I was basically sunning myself because I was, I've neglected sun. Vitamin D is a massive compo compartment, component to um, holistic health and wellness. And I had neglected that. I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want to speak to anyone. I didn't even want to be seen. Um, so for me to actually have like hair and makeup and being outside is massive. I didn't even want to meditate. Like I know what works best for me, but it wasn't happening. Other things that happened during retrograde, there was um, one, oh, our kettle stopped working. That was, an, that was one thing that happened. Um, my phone battery um, was at 66% when actually I flew home because I just couldn't deal with life. I flew home to see my mum and also to um, see her annual piano recital, which was amazing. If you don't know, my mum's a piano teacher and a singing teacher. And so I went home to surprise her. Anyway, I dropped her off at school and my phone when I left the house was at 100%. Mum lives about five minutes by car to school. By the time I got to school, my battery was on 66%. I was then meant to go to see my sister, but then I kind of detoured. There was another miscommunication and I was meant to drop something off, but I didn't, ha oh, anyway, there was another miscommunication. Anyway, I ended up at my friend Amanda's house because she just had a brand new baby. So I saw her, by the time I got back to my sister's house and finally charged my phone, because it basically died once it got to 66%, I had like 10 missed calls, 10 messages, and everyone was freaking out. Everyone thought that I was in a car accident because I had to go and see my sister to give her Panadol because she got really sick and she has never been this sick in her whole life. So there was just so many little things constantly happening. Um, I've had a lot of disagreements with people that I never have disagreements with ever, which was really confronting to me because I was like, why is this happening? Blah, 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 blah. But I realized it was how I reacted was a reflection of me. It was just like everything was magnified. Like, well, communication is magnified threefold during a retrograde period, but it was just massive to me. So what I've learned from the retrograde um, that there's something that I'm going to be changing um, 
in my professional career. I can't really talk to you about that right now. Um, but that's going to be, basically I was, uh, I don't know how to say it. Something happened and I had a deadline. I didn't um, abide by the deadline and then that made me really frustrated with myself because I really wanted to have this done by a deadline and it didn't happen. And probably from April, May, June, July, August, September, probably, oh my gosh, for five months I've been beating myself up from this and it's kind of like <laughs> reflected to me what I need to change. Um, I've been getting so many messages and signs from the universe through song lyrics, through numbers. Um, I told you before in one of my videos that I kept seeing the number 32. When you look at the numerology of um, more than one digit, you add them together. So three and two is five. I kept seeing lots of five. Last week, uh, this week actually, I've been seeing lots of three. 333, 33, all of these numbers. And yeah, I was looking into the meanings behind them and I was like, oh, that's good. Lots of guidance around me. And um, it was just basically a whirlwind. It was just like, like one step forward, 3000 steps back. And it just was too much for me. And I don't want to be where I am now in my current living situation. So that was another thing that reflected to be changed. Um, I've done so much research. It was just like, I didn't really want to watch too much YouTube. Oh, I'm still watching my favorites like Mr. Ben Brown, Casey Neistat. Um, and I've been watching a hell of a lot of astrologers recently um, and intuitive tarot readers, which is, oh, I just love. And so besides my career, the other thing to change was obviously my self-love practices. I need to be bathing in um, the ocean or I need to be somehow connected with the earth at least twice a day, morning and night, because otherwise I don't function. I also realized that I need to meditate. Today was the first time I meditated. I actually listened to, um, you know, my Chuck, I'm like super paranoid because I've seen quite a few snakes <laughs> recently. Um, I'm outside, by the way, hence the foliage. And um, yeah, so there was just, oh, I don't know. I feel like this video is so scattered because my head is kind of still scattered um, because after the retrograde, there's like a two week shadow effect, which I'm kind of feeling, but nowhere near as much. Anyway, I just noticed that there were so many things that needed to change and like, yes, I love doing this and this and this, but then sometimes when things are so crazy, I can't function and I can't do any of that. But I didn't even exercise. I've ex well, I ran for like five minutes and then I stopped and then haven't been to Pilates, haven't been to yoga, haven't been on the bike. Really the only thing I'm doing at the moment is getting outside and just walking, just being in fresh air and having my shoes off, which feels so good. So I'm gonna be changing up my morning routine. So if you would love to see what my new morning routine is to help get me in sync and in alignment, um, I would be happy to make that for you. One of my friends, Jo, her and her husband both dropped their cups of tea on their laptop at the same time during retrograde. My brother had issues with his car and with his work. Um, my mum had issues with her knees and her um, ankles and she went to have an eye on detox and everything was fabulous after that. But there was just so many things that have been mirrored. It was just like all of these things that are happening are like preparing us for what is to come, which is what we are asking for. You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to live here anymore. Peter and I want our own house. We want to live by the beach. You know, there's lots of new changes to my career that's coming up. And I know that I need to look after myself more because basically I go through stages where I'm like working super, super hard on my business. And then the second part, I'm like, oh, I just got to stop. Like it just becomes too much. I, I'm not a balanced person. I'm like all or nothing. And I need to find more balance. So can you guys comment below? Let me know what happened for you during retrograde. Um, I know actually... I just wanted to say that I really, really appreciate everyone on Snapchat. My Snapchat family is super, super small because I've changed my name like three times. It is officially Melanie Kate Love. You can find me on Snapchat. I just want to say a massive shout out to Taylor Beckham. She is amazing. Um, also to Sundora, to Eleanor from Ailing to Able. 
um, to Jo. Um, she used to be under Fantastic Idea, Let's Do It. I can't remember Joe's new business name. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to those people that helped me out. You guys, like, yes, you are my viewers and my followers and all of that, but you guys actually truly help me out when the shit hits the fan. So I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you that did that. Please make sure that you are following me on Snapchat. Snapchat is kind of like the one form of social media where I don't have to, where I don't feel that I need to be polished. Um, whereas Instagram, I hadn't posted for like, oh, weeks and weeks and weeks. And I was like, eh, I don't have the love for it anymore. But it, I'm sure it will come back in time. Um, but Snapchat, I love like, when I'm not feeling good, I love the use of the disguise with the different filters. So Mama Bear just made a soup. Yes, I did. Josie was in it. <laughs> Josie made a soup. Josie made a soup. So please make sure that you are following me on Snapchat. It's like the behind the scenes of everything that's not like the polished version. I showed um, on the weekend when I went to stay in a tree house, which was amazing. It was so beautiful. Um, but yeah, that's what's been going on for me. Basically, in summary of this long video, my gosh, we're up to 12 minutes already. 12, 12. Oh, there's the, there you go. Three, three. Two and one is three. Ah! Um, so basically retrograde is, pre has, pre is preparing me for this massive change that's happening. I can still feel it's happening. Another thing I forgot to mention is that I've done so much reading, um, and I'm going to be making a favorites video to be talking about, um, some new things that have come up for me, including books, new YouTube channels that I just love. Um, and these really fabulous chips that I just found recently and this new ice cream. So there's lots and lots of things coming up for you. I just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices, regardless of where you are on your journey. If the shit hits the fan, all these mirrors are showing to you what you need to change. My biggest advice for you is to be aware of what's going on. Go with the flow. Listen to how your body is feeling. If you need a break, take it. Don't feel guilty. Regardless if you have a social media platform or not, sometimes the best thing we can do is to take ourselves away from a situation and to just be and to just feel the emotions. And sometimes they're not good and sometimes they're incredible, but we just need to feel that emotion. So then we can say, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you universe for what you're telling me right now. And I acknowledge what you're saying and I'm going to continue to move on and make better choices. Anyways, my love, I love you so much. Thank you so much for sticking by me. I, I can't thank you enough to all of those beautiful people that I mentioned in the video. I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you again. I love you guys so much. And I will see you next episode. Bye, my loves.